Using Mixbook is an excellent way to create and publish a book online. This tutorial will show you how to get started. Once you log on to Mixbook.com, create yourself an account. Then you will go to Create to start your book. I'm going to scroll down to start a new Mixbook and put it in the title of 3D Shapes. I'm going to choose the category Education. And for my options, I'm going to choose to let everyone view this book and click Create Mixbook. On this page, I'm going to choose the size. And for this one, I'm going to choose a portrait book. The next step is to select a theme. Mixbook has many themes, holiday, general themes, wedding, travel, different occasions, baby books, education books, family, seasons, and romance. For this book, I'm just going to choose a blank theme to get started. I'm going to uncheck Give Me a Book That's Almost Done, and I'm going to choose my theme. It does take a moment for Mixed Book to prepare your book for you to begin working. All right, and the first screen that opens allows us to add photos to our book. Notice the tabs up here at the top. I can upload from my computer. I can add photos from various other websites as well. I'm going to select photos from my computer. I'm going to choose all of the photos in my shape folder. It will take a few minutes for the photos to be added. You can see they're starting to load over on the left hand side. My photos are finished. If I want, I can click to add more. I'm going to close out and go to my book. Anytime I would like to add more photos, I can go back to the Add Photos tab. Okay, I'm looking at the cover of my book. You'll notice the layout of the screen shows my photos over here on the left-hand side. Down at the bottom, I can see my front cover. And right now, I have five pages of my book and a back cover. I can add more pages, which I'll do in a little while, by clicking the Add a Blank Page. Also up here in the um, top right corner, I can add text. I can change my theme, view in full screen, and so forth. The first thing I'm going to do is find a background for my page by clicking on Backgrounds. and I have quite a few backgrounds, oh, 198 <laughs> that I can choose from. So I can scroll down and find something that I like. All I have to do is double click. And I like that one because it does have shapes on it, so I'm going to keep that as my front cover. I can choose different layouts for my page, depending on how many photos I want to put. Right now I'm going to just add maybe one photo to my album, and it gives me a place to drop my photo and where I can click and insert text. So I'm going to go back to my photos here, 
Let's see which one I would like to choose. I think I will choose this birthday balloon. And I just click and drag it over here and drop it in. And there it is. I'm going to click to insert text and I'm going to write 3D shapes. Now with my text I can highlight that text. I can make it larger. I can even change the font. And if I want, I can change the color of the text. Right now, my text is black. I could even click here if I wanted to insert some text on the spine of my book. Okay, I'm going to keep that right there as it is, and I'm going to go to my first page. Mixbook is automatically saving my work. All right, and now I'm on the uh, title page of my book. I'm going to go back to backgrounds. It shows which backgrounds I have already used. Let's see what else we can put in here. For this one I'm just going to insert some text. And I'm going to move this text box up here to the top of the page. I'm going to add some more text here, and I'm going to give myself one. Make this a little bit smaller. And maybe change the font. Once I've added my text, I can go in and edit my text by giving my text a shadow. I can give it a reflection or a border. And I'm ready to go on to my next two pages. So again, I can add a background. I'm going to be working on the sphere page on this one. I'm going to go with something a little bit more solid this time. Okay, go back to my photos or my layouts. Now let's see, I have one, two, three, four. Four photos that I want, so I'm going to go to A layout for four photos. And there are some different ways I can add photos to this page. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to drag my photos and drop them. Notice I can move my photos around in the frame. I can also click on this editing button to again add um, borders, adding a shadow.
tell this one to have no border. And I'm going to tell this one to have no border. I can click here. and type my text. I'm going to make this larger. So creating a mixed book is as easy as this. I'm going to save my book. Another wonderful thing about mixed book is you can invite contributors. So more than one person can work on the same book at the same time. This is a great way to have students create books together. So you would just enter in an email address and send the invitation. I hope you enjoy creating your books with your students.